The Dark Rock 4 and the Dark Rock Pro 4 are our best sellers in the high end range and tend to be sold out on a fairly regular basis. Both deliver an immense cooling power 200 watt TDP with the Dark Rock 4 and even 250 watt TDP with the Dark Rock Pro 4. Unfortunately, this means also a certain degree of necessary compromise in terms of the size, which can lead to occasional problems with the visibility of RAM blocks. So. Enter the Dark Rock Slip. Now, we did not develop the Dark Rock Slim on a whim. We study each and every piece of feedback very thoroughly, be it from emails, returned materials, or social media postings. And we heard it loud and clear. Many of you wished for a powerful air cooler which did not block fancy RAM modules. Uncompromisingly compact. That's how we choose to describe our newest cooling wonder and it's this compactness that comes to full effect when you choose to build a high-end system but have limited space available. This means that the Dark Rock Slim can even be used within high-powered ITX systems. But these small cases tend to have cooling problems due to a lack of airflow, which means that their fans run at full power under load. But isn't being loud the exact opposite of what these small systems are meant to be? Good thing then that the Dark Rock Slim comes equipped with a Silent Wings 3 120mm PWM fan, which operates at a maximum of virtually inaudible 23.6 decibels. Noblesse oblige. Being a true dark rock cooler means to have a first grade ratio of power to noise. The four high performance copper heat pipes and the airflow optimized wave contoured cooler fins have been coated with special black ceramic particles to enable perfect heat transfer. Which means that this compact cooler offers a whopping 180 watt TDP. Enough even for a Ryzen 7 2700X CPU with 8 cores and 16 threads, which uses only 105 watt TDP, leaving lots of room for overclocking. And in order to please the eyes as well, the cooler features a brushed aluminum top cover with diamond cut finish. So if you like to fill your PC with 4 RGB RAM blocks or even 8, the Dark Rock Slim isn't going to stand in any of your ways. You're free to configure your lighting software as you can see fit and thanks to the 180 watt TDP use most of the current CPUs for high-end gaming or demanding graphics and video applications. One more thing, installing the Dark Rock Slim is a piece of cake and if you happen to need even more cooling power, you are free to use another 120mm fan. The clips necessary for doing so are already included. Let's sum up. 180 watt TDP, very compact design, extremely silent thanks to the Silent Wings 3 fan, Every RAM module is visible, fit for high-end builds and of course featuring Be Quiet's world-famous reliability. The Dark Rock Slim really leaves nothing to be desired. Well then, stay quiet.
Introducing the new Kraken X and the all-new Kraken Z. The NZXT Krakens are a must-have for any build, providing high-performance liquid cooling, intuitive installation, and greater visual effects and customization. The new Kraken X series maintains the customizable lighting effects and quiet performance of previous generations and adds a new high-performance pump as well as an NZXT RGB channel for even more lighting and RGB fan options. With a redesigned cap and larger Infinity Mirror Ring LED, the new Kraken X delivers an amazing experience in RGB liquid cooling, backed by a six-year warranty. The all-new Kraken Z series lets you personalize your all-in-one liquid cooler like never before. Through CAM's unique software interface, you can do more than simply retune settings. You can now display your favorite images and animated GIFs or CAM system information, allowing for total customization. The Kraken Z series provides superior performance in liquid cooling, simple installation, and a look that is uniquely your own. For Intel Socket LGA 1150X platform, install the Intel backplate on the rear of the motherboard as oriented here. Ensure the sliders fit into the mounting holes. The backplate of the CPU socket will fit within the cutout of the Intel backplate. From the front of the motherboard, install the four standoffs. For Intel Socket LGA 2011 and 2066, use the standoffs provided and install them onto the motherboard's backplate. For AMD Socket AM4, Remove the stock AMD mounting bracket and keep the original backplate on the rear of the motherboard. Then install the four AMD standoffs from the front of the motherboard. To change the retention bracket, press and hold the Intel retention bracket firmly towards the pump and rotate it counterclockwise to release. Then install the AMD retention bracket onto the pump. The logo orientation of the Kraken X can be adjusted using the rotatable cap. The pump cap has a rotatable upper section with 12 locking points. Depending on your motherboard, you can orient the pump to fit your needs. The display orientation of the Kraken Z can be adjusted within cam in two directions. For the best viewing angles, we recommend installing the Kraken Z with the tubes at a three o'clock orientation. The 90 degree counterclockwise orientation can be used if the tubes are installed at a six o'clock position. Simply click on rotate display within cam once you have the Kraken installed. Place the pump within the retention bracket onto the CPU. Ensure the standoffs go through the holes on the bracket and apply the thumb nuts diagonally before tightening them securely. For mounting the radiator directly onto the case, install the fans to the radiator first using the 30 millimeter fan screws and washers. Use the five millimeter case screws and washers to mount the radiator to the case or radiator bracket. For mounting in which the fans fit between the radiator and chassis, use the 30 millimeter fan screws and washers for mounting. The long fan screws will mount the radiator through the fans. For Kraken X, connect the fans to your motherboard or a fan controller. For Kraken Z, connect the fan cable to the first fan connector on the included breakout cable set with four pins. Use the remaining fan connectors as needed. Connect the three pin connector on the breakout cable set to the four pin CPU fan or AIO pump connector on the motherboard. You may need to disable fan fail warning within the motherboard BIOS if CPU fan is unused. Connect the SATA power cable. Connect the mini USB cable from the pump to an available USB 2.0 internal connector on the motherboard. Connect compatible NZXD RGB accessories to the RGB LED connector on the breakout cable. Be sure to check the orientation of the RGB connectors, making sure pin one is aligned on both connectors. Once you have set up your Kraken, turn on your PC and proceed to download and install the NZXT CAM software to enable Kraken controls. To learn more about the NZXT Krakens, visit nzxt.com. And to always stay updated on NZXT products, subscribe to our channel.
If you like the video, please click on the like button, write a comment, and subscribe to my channel.